polar bears. They may be the iconic species threatened by global warming, but they are just one in a long list of animals endangered by warming temperatures and other climate-related changes. Arctic ice is melting, fires and floods are more frequent and severe, and many places are getting hotter and drier, causing problems for a host of animals. Here are some examples. Like polar bears, ivory gulls use sea ice as a platform from which they can search for food. With ice now forming later in the fall and breaking apart earlier and more rapidly in spring, feeding periods for these birds are much shorter. Malnourished birds produce fewer offspring and may even die of starvation. When green sea turtles lay eggs, the temperature of the nest determines the sex of the offspring. A mean temperature increase of 4 degrees Celsius would completely eliminate production of male offspring, leading to extinction of this majestic creature. Trout and salmon depend on cold water streams and rivers for spawning. Even a few degrees change in temperature can decimate these fish populations. Fish that live in the ocean have more room to adapt to warming temperatures. They can migrate to cooler waters, but other species that eat these fish may not be so lucky. Tufted puffins in Canada are one example. These birds feed on an anchovy-like fish that in recent years has moved further offshore to cooler waters. Without their primary food source, tufted puffins have been unable to feed their chicks. In addition to higher ocean temperatures, higher ocean acidity is bleaching coral reefs, signaling a death knell for the world's richest marine ecosystems. These changes are happening fast. More than 30% of coral species are now in danger of extinction, up from just 2% 10 years ago. But species that live in or around water aren't the only ones suffering. In 2005, hundreds of Alaska caribou died of starvation after warm weather followed by freezing rain in December created a hard crust of ice over the tundra plants these animals feed on. More rain is expected in Mexico's highlands where monarch butterflies congregate each winter. Rain followed by freezing temperatures in 2002 killed 80% of the butterflies. Such extreme weather events are expected to occur more often. Decreased snow cover hinders the ability of the Canada lynx to hunt for prey. Scientists believe snowy owls may time their mating with snow melt, so when snow melts earlier in spring, chicks will also hatch earlier at a time when enough food to feed them is not yet available. Both bighorn sheep and pika must adapt to warming temperatures by moving to higher altitudes or other places with suitable habitat, but other places may not even exist within the range of these species, whose existing habitat is already very small and isolated. Warming temperatures are driving insects in Hawaii to migrate higher up in forest canopies where it's cooler, but where they now threaten the iwi one of a handful of remaining species of Hawaiian honeycreeper with malaria. The jaguar, too, may be forced to migrate to escape the heat, making more urgent the need to protect new habitat for these animals. The northern pintail is already moving further north, as the pond habitat it prefers shrinks due in part to warmer, drier conditions. For the Florida panther, new habitat may not exist. If sea levels rise high enough, what little panther habitat remains in southern Florida would disappear altogether. As we become more aware of the many threats of global warming to ourselves, our lands, and our animals, our incentive to take action becomes more urgent. The time to act is now. Making responsible choices, such as conserving and recycling, is a great start. But the role of government and the private sector must also change for the better so that policies reward low-carbon solutions and the cost of pollution is borne by the polluter. In addition to cutting emissions, we must protect our natural world from the climate changes we can't avoid and the impacts we are already observing. The opportunities to repower, refuel, and restore America are tremendous, and if we take advantage of those opportunities, we can protect our environment while enriching our communities. This is exactly what the experts at the Wilderness Society are working on, and we need your help. Together, we can save these amazing creatures and the cherished wildlands they inhabit.